and staff. My name is Molly Jane Wrights. I have always said, exercise your brain to every student and staff member on every single morning announcement. What that means is, keep on learning and you never, ever give up. We're moving on to a whole new school, a whole new grade, and meeting all new students. It is exciting and it is hard not to be afraid. But what about being less afraid? Think of it as a new adventure. What I have learned from students, parents, and even teachers' experience is that life is about moving on and trying new things. We still have a lot to do. I know that everyone should be proud to be a Wolverine because W is for wonder. You should always wonder about your future and about what you might do next. O is for optimistic. Everyone at the school has been positive, and I know that if we are doing that same thing with showing everyone what we can do, it will be a great year for everyone. L is for learning to be leaders. We joined leadership because we wanted to know and feel what it was like to be a leader and to show everyone that they should too. V is for victory. When we look back at our past days and years, whether it was grades or sports, it shows that we have won by trying our hardest. E is for encouragement. All of our teachers have told us to keep trying and to never quit. And look where they have gotten us. R is for respect. While we move on to the next step, Webster has told us to respect yourself and others. I is for inspire. When we show how to act and how we treat others, it should inspire others to do the same. N is for nourishing our minds. While we learn and see all the steps that we should take, it will make us stronger physically and mentally. E is for enthusiasm. As we move on to our next level, we should have pride, joy, and happiness. And finally, S. S is to always strive. We should set our goals to a higher standard. We should always try and fail than to not try at all. And just okay just isn't good enough. We should always always try our hardest. I would like to thank everyone that has helped make this a great year. Our custodians, Damien and Miguel, for making everything happen for everyone at this school. Becky, for the past 10 years, she has picked up phones, signed papers, ran errands, and even more. And let's not forget about Mary. Although she has only been here a year, she's a great addition to the Webster family. These ladies have done so much for our school. Our principal, Mr. Lopez, and vice principal, Mrs. Shepard. These two have taken care of our school and supervised us to make sure that we are doing okay. Maria in the cafeteria, from taking our orders to making our lunches. You may not think it is hard, but it is one of the toughest jobs here at Webster. The two people that made leadership happen, Mr. Mr. McDonald and Mrs. Fulton. They're the ones that encouraged us to become leaders and helped out with all the activities that we did. Our Vice President, Natalie Noble, the Secretary, Haley Ingram, and our Treasurer, Brian Alexander. These three, as well as the whole leadership team, have helped with rallies, events, and activities. They have worked very hard. The teachers, you are all wonderful, but I want to especially thank my teachers. Mrs. Green, Mrs. Kent, Mrs. Woods, Mrs. Masoni, Ms. Fox, Ms. Horshey, and the amazing Mr. Simon. I know I could speak for the entire sixth grade and say thank you to all of our moms and dads, but I want to also thank my mom and dad for being there for both me and my brother, but especially my mom for the 10 years that she has spent helping me and all the students here at Webster. There is one last thank you, which is all the sixth grade students for passion and friendship at this school. In a few moments, we'll become Mustangs, Mr. Piedra, and eventually a hawk. But we will forever be Wolverines. Thank you. Woo!